The HoloLens 2 is finally coming. Well, we've known it was coming since Microsoft announced it back in February, but now we have a date, sort of. At this week's World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai, Microsoft EVP Harry Shum revealed we should expect to see the next generation mixed reality headset sometime in September. The new model should be an improvement on its predecessor in every way, based on what we saw at Mobile World Congress. And one would certainly hope so, given that the first HoloLens came out over three years ago, back in early 2016. Version 2 should be more comfortable and require minimal fitting thanks in part to cameras on its bridge that measure your pupil distance and adjust the image accordingly. Those will also help with eye tracking and let you scroll simply by looking around. They'll even enable the very sci-fi touch of logging in with a retina scan. The HoloLens 2 has also been rebalanced, taking the pressure off your nose and moving it to the top of your head. It's better at keeping your head cool and there's a flip-up visor so you can easily reconnect with the real world. On the inside, the HoloLens 2 is apparently packing a Snapdragon 850 instead of an Intel chip. There's a time of flight depth sensor to help with gesture control. And oh yeah, it's got twice the field of view of the original. That's like going from a 720p TV set to 2K for each eye. If you're thinking all of this tech doesn't sound cheap, it's not. We're looking at a $3,500 price tag. That's not a huge deal though. HoloLens isn't meant for the average consumer and it's aimed squarely at enterprise users and institutions like schools and hospitals. It's a lot easier and cheaper to train an engineer virtually rather than flying them out to see the real thing after all. If you're big on all kinds of headsets from mixed to augmented to virtual reality, be sure to like and subscribe to Engadget and we'll see you in September with the latest news from IFA.